So I was leveling up my wizard the other day before our D&D session and I went to go add some more spells basically and prepare some more spells for my next adventure. And I was watching James and Sue's video about the new fortress chamber theories for the anniversaries while I was doing this. And it hit me that we're missing some spells. And I was scrolling through the achievement section of the registry because of that very reason. It hit me when I saw him scroll past it. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to hop on this theory train too. So today we're going to talk about all of those spells, the ones that we don't have, the ones that we might be getting soon, and how they could be related to new foundables coming in Wizards Unite. First of all, you guys probably have seen the screenshot and know the screenshot, or maybe this is the first time you've ever seen it, but I'm going to throw it right up here on the screen anyway. There's a weird bug or a weird situation that we find ourselves in as witches and wizards because it says that we have completed either 12 or 13 distinct spells depending on your phone. Some say 12, some say 13, but we don't have all 20 of those spells available to us. I mean, we're talking about including the combat bolts, including using Accio and Inns and using all of the spells at our disposal like we have only got that many spells and so my my question then is what could those spells be or what kind of things will we need those spells for and i actually had someone send me a long long time ago a data mine of five new spells that there will be added eventually into the game at some point and I looked at those spells and as I was looking over them, I saw them and remembered the specific instances in which they were used. And it, these were really, really cool moments and really iconic moments within the series of Harry Potter itself. So I'm really interested to see how exactly those will come into play in the game because of those particular spells. Now, the particular spells uh, that I'm talking about are going to be Confundus. Petrificus Totalis, Tarantallegra, Ventus, and Wingardium Leviosa. Those are all in the game codes. And of course, there's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of more information. Like if you haven't gone and watched James's video, please seriously do. They're really good. And I really enjoyed them this past weekend. Um, they talk about all of the things that are in the data mine files. And there are a lot of foundables basically that are out there. He talks about the, the fortresses specifically. But what he doesn't talk about is there are tons of oddities sitting in the game files. There are tons of fortress foundables that he does talk about that we haven't seen yet. There are tons of foundables, wild exploration foundables in the game files that we haven't seen yet. And so I'm thinking that these particular spells will be released when we get those new foundable families. Now, the reason for that is because, again, like I said earlier a few minutes ago, is that these spells are all used in very, very iconic moments in the series of Harry Potter. I mean, Confundus is used in the Half-Blood Prince when Cormac McLaggen is trying out for Keeper against Ron. Confundus. And Hermione confounds him. We have Petrificus Totalis, of course. Again, Hermione using magic against Neville in the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone as they go down to try and retrieve the stone and stop who, Professor Snape, who actually, of course, turns out to be Quirrell, from getting the stone. But she uses that spell on Neville in order to stop him from fighting them or getting them in trouble. Petrificus Totalis. Next, Terran Telegra is a spell that was used during the duel, the dueling club between Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy. It's supposed to be a dancing spell, basically. It's like an uncontrollable dancing thing that you have to counter Jinx in order to get it to stop. It never made its way into the films, but it is in the book. Ventus is another spell in which we see it in the actual Wizarding World films, where Newt Scamander uses it to shake off the ministry tail that he has following him. Uh, because they're keeping an eye on him and making sure he doesn't travel internationally anymore after the incidents in the first Fantastic Beast film. But he uses Ventus as a way to escape, essentially, from that ministry tale. Ventus. And then, of course, last but not least, Wingardium Leviosa, the famous swish and flick, and the pronunciation, and the troll scene, and Philosopher's Stone, Sorcerer's Stone. Wingardium Leviosa! Now, again, these particular spells have been around for about five months and haven't launched yet. 
And like I said, those foundable families have also been around for a really long time and have not been launched yet. So this also would be a, another side of the coin to the theory because I'm thinking as I'm speaking here and one of the discussions that we had uh, recently, especially with the release of the night bus and people getting all of the red books and the 2.13 registry debacle and, you know, being able to place all of those registry images with the, the one year anniversary coming up. I truly believe that generation one of wizards unite is coming to a close. I think that things like Hagrid's umbrella, um, I think that the nifflers, and I think that the Thestrals, like all of those things that are sort of rare or sort of tricky to find are going to become pretty commonplace once we've, uh, you know, put all of the stickers in the registry. So they're trying to create this catch up mechanic so we can complete our registries. And when we complete the registry, we can get a new registry book or we can get new registry pages. And that is essentially the equivalent to the Pokedex in generation one for Pokemon Go. And I've mentioned this on a few occasions, but I wanted to bring that up because if we get all five of these spells at once, or maybe there are even more to add to that because we do have to get 20 out of 20 to get that specific achievement. And these five spells would only get us to 17 or 18 if you have the 13 out of 20 for whatever reason. So those are just my thoughts. And my hope is that all five of these spells will drop simultaneously, although I don't think that they will, because then that means we're getting all of those new families or all of those new family pages. So like I said, there is a foundable family pretty much that correlates specifically to each one of these spells. There are lots of things in the game files that we haven't seen yet. And I'm really excited for these new spells because I want to be able to use them. I want to see what it would like to, to confound a foundable, you know, like what would it look like to confound a foundable that's being confounded? What? That's so confusing. <laughs> I'm confounded. But guys, let me know what you think down below. Do you want to see these new spells soon? Do you want to see the new family soon? Do you want to see a new registry soon? I know a lot of the players and a lot of the grinders out there are already completely done. And of course, I want to keep the conversation going with you all. So I want to know what you think. So let me know down in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video as well as clicking that red subscribe button and ringing those bell notifications so you can be made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. And until next time, peace.